Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Majura Pines. Uh, last time we spoke, you may recall I had a little bit of a fall. That broke my frame. So while I'm waiting for my replacement bike, and yes it is coming, we have this. This is an Aldi hardtail lent to me by my friend, Paul. Um, yeah, let's get in and have a ride and talk about what it's like. Okay, so Aldi bike, very basically. Dior 1x10 running gear. I think that's a 48 tooth cassette, but I haven't checked. Proper um, narrow wide chain ring. Suntour XCM coil forks. Little stubby 50mm stem. I have actually replaced the seat post. This is the one out of my XTC because the stock aluminium one wasn't long enough. So that seat post costs probably as much as any other part on the bike. Uh, other than that, 29er wheels, tubed, random Indonesian tires, no idea what they are. Let's give it a go. So where we're gonna go is down there and jump cut. Okay, so here we are at Wombat. I brought my son here last weekend, my almost four-year-old, and he rode all the way down here, I'll do the entire loop he did, on his cruisy balance bike. We were meant to come for a uh, trail building day on Saturday, but uh, turns out that was on Sunday. My bad. Oh well, he got a good ride in, so. This is super beginner stuff. This is Wombat, this trail, by the way. Um, yeah, green cross-country trail. Pretty standard stuff, and the Aldi bike feels very at home here. This fork is actually, like, I haven't had a coil fork since my, God, my SCP, which I sold in like 2010. Maybe even before then. But this feels fine, this is comfy. I mean, I'm like 70 kilos. It's, yeah, it's, the bike's nice and quiet, the hub's not obnoxiously loud. Some people like that, I certainly don't. The fork's good, the Tetra hydraulic brakes, they're just fine. They work, they're quiet, they're actually quieter than my Elixirs, which I'm told now are the worst brakes ever made by SRAM or Avid or whatever you want to call them. But, oh, this is fine. I'm riding it like, I don't know, 70% full pace now and it's just, it's nice. A little bit of chain snap I just heard there. So the clutch is clearly not super, super strong on the Dior rear mech, but bloody hell, for 500 bucks, guys, this is, this is a very all right sort of bike. If you don't know if you're gonna get into mountain biking, you're not gonna love it, God, just buy one of these next time they come around. Pick one up second hand. These are just fine. Ah, oh, now this, this is the feature that my son couldn't get through, which I'm sure you'd understand. It's a bloody big gorge. So there's a bit of a smoother one up here. We'll go through that to get across to Inabana. And you just wanna have a bit of a roll into this and you should be fine. Just have a bit of a look. They look scary, these creek crossings, but they're not. Just stay off your brakes, pick your line, and in you go. Let your inertia carry you out the other side. Ready? Here we go. Easy. Scary to look at, though. I, I will concede. Now, on with warm pack. And the thing I thought was going to be like the Achilles heel of this bike, these tyres, these random, oop, unclipped, these random like low tread, no name tyres, I think probably a Polygon own brand thing, this bike made by Polygon, um, they're fine, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. They grip just fine, I mean like, yes, it would be better if they were tubeless, but tubeless conversion is 20% the cost of his bike. Put it that way. The other obvious upgrade you could make is a dropper post. And you know, if you buy a Brand X or a 
ESK10 27.2 dropper there's another 200 bucks and I think the people who this bike is aimed at people who, you know don't know if they're going to like mountain biking that's certainly something they could do but would you? Uh, I'd just roll that money into a new bike, honestly this is a good knockabout bike, I think for the people in your life who, you know Go, so, go mountain biking occasionally. Jeez, it's nice though. It handles really well. It's not a progressive design by any means, but it's certainly well sorted. It just feels snappy through these tight little switchbacks. Good. Doesn't mind getting in the air. Ah, lovely. Let's see if we've got enough battery to get to the bottom. Hard, this bike starts to feel the income. The fork just can't react quick enough to the small bumps of these roots. Probably those tyres don't help either. This feels actually a bit like the run down here on that rocky mountain. The rail, I had the hot tyres too hard. That was also tubed. Although, admittedly, being a 27.5 plus. Probably could have got away with well. In fact, I did after that run. Okay, on board. Here we go. Aldi Hardtail rallied as hard as I dare 